guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be doing this look this is the makeup that I bought at the Sephora appreciation sale so I'm gonna be putting it all on my face and I have already used some of these products so you guys will see like what my thoughts are because I already pretty much have a thought on everything and I've been loving a lot so if you want to see how to get this look then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up up go subscribe to my channel and also our giveaway has ended so i'll link the winner down below so go check that out to see if you are a winner if not i will have a bunch more giveaways going on because i just bought stuff for a new giveaway so stay tuned for that and let's just go ahead and jump right in i'm gonna start by using that drunk elephant c from a day serum this stuff is really great and i've honestly really seen a difference from the time i started using it my skin just feels so smooth. I feel like I'm getting like no blemishes at all. And my skin just overall looks better. Then I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder Resilience Lift Cream. This is just a little cream that I have. And it's a really nice one. It's really hydrating. Then I'm going to go in with the Lancome Visionaire Eye Cream. And I just take pretty much like that much. And then I dot it right here. And then on top of my eyes. And it brings a lot of moisture. It gets like the fine lines and stuff like that. Then I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Primer Oil because y'all know I'm getting a little bit dry. I do so many steps in prepping my skin. It's crazy. And then I'm going to go in with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Smoothing Primer. And what I do is I just kind of like rub my fingers on it and then push it into those areas and really focus it in on where I have more pores. Then I'll take some on the forehead. After that, I'm going to go in with the Tatcha. This is the Pore Perfecting Sunscreen. It has SPF 35. This is really great and I hardly use any. So I take it and I literally use like that much for my whole entire face. It smells wonderful. I really do feel like it corrects pores and it's not too greasy either. Then I'm going to go in with the Dior Face and Body Foundation. I'm in 1N and... It says to shake well before you use it. And then I just pour some on my beauty blender and then just go in. Next, I'm going to go in with the Born This Way Multi-Use Concealer. And I am in snow in this shade. I've been really liking it. It is more hydrating and everything like that. And it still has really good coverage. And the Face and Body Foundation has been my all-time like favorite foundation. It is so good for dry skin. It's like a medium coverage like a light to medium but you can build it up and it just looks so pretty on your skin it makes me look so dewy fresh and then these two pair together are wonderful then i'm going to use this hourglass veil translucent setting powder this has also been like my all-time favorite powder this is what it looks like there's a little h down there and then i'm going to use this it cosmetics brush i also got this new it's the heavenly luck um number seven and they have a new one out but i'm gonna use this to set and I'm just setting the main areas where I crease, so I'm not setting like all over right now with this brush. Then I'm just going to do my normal brow, so I will be right back. Then I'm going to prime my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And I finally hit pan on this. It's crazy. This thing has lasted me so long. Then I'm going to be using the Tasha Denona Camel Palette. In my haul video, I called it the Caramel Palette, but it is Camel Palette, and this is what it looks like so pretty and it just like screams fall for me who doesn't love a, just a good old brown smoky eye basic but i love it i'm just gonna go into the mac 286 favorite blending brush and i'm gonna dip into these two shades right here and kind of mix them but mainly getting this shade now that i got that on i'm gonna take this and kind of start working it in the outer v just to darken it up a little bit and I'm going to use the MAC 217S brush is what it looks like. It's not that wide, but it still has like a little fluffiness to it. I'm just going to take that and work it right here. Then I'm going to take this darker shade right here with the MAC 228S brush. And I'm also going to put it just in that corner just to deepen it up even more. Then I'm just going to take a big old fluffy brush with nothing on it and just go over 
everything just to make it all blended out and then I got this and I am obsessed with it it's the hourglass scattered light glitter eyeshadow in smoke and this is what it looks like and it is gorgeous on the eyes I just take it on my finger and just kind of like swipe and tap it on my eye it's really pretty it kind of makes your eye just look like wet and nice then i'm taking a morphe e36 brush and i'm gonna go into this shade right here with a little bit of this one and putting that on the lower lash then i'm just gonna go into this smashbox liner it's really hard to see the always on liquid eyeliner it's just in black and it's a nice eyeliner and i'm just gonna line right here I'm not gonna do a wing though then I've been using the hourglass caution mascara and it looks wonderful on your eyelashes and I'm just gonna put that on all over I will say one thing that nobody is really talking about is that it is a little bit harder to get off I use a Lancome bifacil and it's still kind of hard to get off makes your lashes look good so I got my eyes done I'm gonna go into the hourglass nude bronze light I've been using this bronzer every single day it is a really pretty natural bronzer but you definitely can build it up up. so I'm just gonna take that all over so guys life update I did move recently so I'm still trying to get like everything set up and put in the right spot everything like that I just got a new TV stand I ordered two for Amazon and um, both of them came in broke so I was like I'm done it was like busted where I could not use it so I was like I am done so I ordered one from Target and it got here and we're still like putting it up and so that's being done and then i went and saw my brother over labor day weekend it was nice seeing him because he has gone away to college so i saw him and i got two new cats you guys have seen kind of like you saw one of them she's like laying right over there by the window but um one of them was in the intro of my video but i got two new cats we named them daisy may and then the other one lily J. so they wrapped I'm going to go into the Park Avenue Princess palette and kind of like mix these two shades right here for my contour. So we got two new cats and we got them an hour away. Their owner died and so um, they're long haired cats. Beautiful, beautiful. And they're about like three years old. So we went and picked them up and we got them and they're really good. They're kind of like scared of everything. Like they'll run if they hear a pin drop, which kind of cracks me up. And that's just how they are. They've already... Like, they're already used to us, so that's not it. It's just really funny. They both have different kind of attitudes, and it's hilarious, and I love them. And I'm trying to think if anything else has really happened. Um, kind of just, like, craziness. I'm switching. I work at a bank. It's, like, one of my jobs, and I'm switching locations of that bank. So, I'll still be working for the same bank, just different location. So, that is also coming up. That will be different, but I haven't switched yet. I just got approval. And then still going to school but doing online right now and it's amazing because then I don't have to go talk to people I don't have to go to a campus and sit there for hours why um, a guy lectures on and on so I have been loving taking online classes I'm gonna, like, giving you a life rundown right now next uh, this is a Becca blush and it's in Tiger Lily I got a 50% off at Ulta it was like in their markdown section I don't know why but it's really pretty and I'm just using my Sephora 50 brush and this blush stays all day long it's gorgeous it's a little bit shimmery and it just makes you glow oh and oh my gosh I don't know why I didn't say this earlier we hit over a thousand subscribers so I am gonna be doing my giveaway and I will list it as of right now I still have not picked the person so I need to do that I'm gonna take this shade right here in the palette and highlight my brow bone with it and my inner corner then i'm going to use the anastasia amorezi highlight you guys have seen this everywhere I'm just going to apply it there it is beautiful i think that is pretty much everything that's been happening lately i've been posting my bali videos when i can get a chance to edit them so i hope you guys have been liking those i really enjoyed the videos because bali was so beautiful and i already want to go back so i've been posting those and getting them up when i can they're just a little different like travel videos next i think i'm gonna go into this ColourPop lipstick this is in still crazy these lipsticks are so creamy and they actually last like so long on your lips and usually a lipstick does not on me 
All right, now that I have everything on, I'm gonna go into this fresh vitamin nectar antioxidant glow water, and it's a skin nutrient face mist with vitamin A fruit complex. This is what it looks like. I absolutely love the mist on this thing, and it's just so refreshing. I feel like I could just like take a bath in that. It's so great. So I think this makeup is really, really pretty. It's nice and glowy. Move my mirror is nice and glowy. I hope you guys like it. The lipstick is so comfortable. You can get them at Ulta. I believe they're like $7 and you can use a coupon on top of it. And the foundation, this foundation is my all time like favorite foundation right now. It's just really glowy and it's skin like and it just looks really great, wears great on me, and I have normal to dry skin. These hourglass little things on the lid, it makes your lid just look so like wet and glowy. So you can see the light hitting it. And then the Camel Palette by Natasha Denona is really, really great. She has great eyeshadows. They are a little bit more pricey, but you get really great quality. They blend out really, really seamlessly. Also this concealer, I've been using it almost every single day. And it is also wonderful. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget the giveaway has in it. So I'll link the winner down below in the description box. So go check there. So thank you guys. Don't forget we're going to have more giveaways. I just bought a bunch of stuff to put in my next giveaway. So thank you guys for supporting me. We have reached over a thousand subscribers. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.